Each day is like a mile marker on your journey of life. Time boxing or planning your day in advance allows you to live with intent and purpose, doing what you want to do, living proactively, not reactively. So Daymaster gives you a couple tools to make every day work for you. Number one, your active aspirations always appear above your daily plan. This ensures that these are remaining top of mind. These roads to get to your best life are reviewed every single day. Secondly, each aspiration, the what, why, when, is turned into an easily repeatable statement. So all you have to do is just read your aspiration aloud. Daymaster has done that work for you. Next, create your own customs. We can think of different cultures around the world of having their own customs. You as an individual have your own customs as well, whether it's gardening or jujitsu, exercise, movies, whatever it is that you like to do on a regular basis, you can capture those by creating a custom, by selecting the customs option in the create menu. Number three, create your repeating entries. Anywhere from 40 to 90% of our behavior is repeated. So by selecting a repeating entry, you can actually create those one times on a regular basis automatically. So you don't have to go through the work of creating every day individually. Next, let's look at some best practices. Each and every day should have a three to five or so time boxes, an outline of whatever it is that you want to accomplish for that day. Now, some people like to be maybe a little bit more detailed. Others have, like to have a little bit more flexibility, but three to five is kind of that sweet spot for the items that you want to accomplish for the day. Your day should start off on the right track with the morning routine. You should find some downtime as well. You should have a wind down routine or evening routine. Lastly, you should have a clear bedtime and know how much sleep you're going to get. But most importantly is making sure that you're finding at least a few minutes and hopefully more to work on those active aspirations. So try it out. Go ahead and rough draft, create an outline for your next week. Make your decisions in advance about where you're going to allocate your time. Then when those events come up, all you have to do is just execute. You've already made the decision for what you want to do. So try that out, and then we'll move to our last step, reflection. 